Okay, today we're going to demonstrate making a quick bread, and the recipe we're using is called Handy Bread. My name is Amy. And I'm Angela. And we're here in our tavern in Belleville, Ohio today. We're going to use our fireplace and a Dutch oven to make our bread. Uh, this recipe uses pearl ash, which is a leavener, and leaveners is what gives baked goods their fluffy outward appearance and their nice texture on the inside. Pearl ash is a potassium carbonate and is a chemical leavening agent that's been used since the 14th century, especially with Dutch baked goods, meaning Dutch people who are from the country of Holland. Uh, pot ash, um, pearl ash is a alkaline or a base, and it's similar to modern day baking powder. And that's what we're going to use today in our adapted recipe. Uh, the original potash was a crude alkaline that was derived from using burnt wood ashes and soaking them in water. And from there they would derive lye, which they used to make soap, or they would dry it further to make potash. Pearl ash is a more refined version of potash. It, when you combine it with an acid, as sour milk, vinegar, uh, honey, or molasses, it creates a chemical reaction and causes little air pockets of carbon dioxide, which causes your baked good to rise. So thanks to chemistry and modern science, today, most all the baked goods that you eat use baking powder. So we are going to get started with making our recipe. The first thing Angela is going to do is she's going to combine sugar or sugar with our melted butter. So she's pouring in about a half a cup of sugar into a cup of melted to really, really soft butter. And this is going to take a while to incorporate the sugar into the butter completely. You want it very, very well mixed. Mm, that's pretty good. She did a great job. <laughs> well, the butter was partly melted, but not all melted. It doesn't work if it's melted. Yes. Too, it's melt too your, liquidy. It, don't, it, don't melt your butter so, on purpose. Um, working with the fire, so, you know. I let it sit there a little longer than I should have. <laughs> Partly melted. Okay, so the butter and sugar is creamed together really well. And then you need to put in... She's going to add her baking powder yep. to three and a half cups of flour. Mm -hmm. And we just use any... You can use any flour that you have available. She's going to give that a quick stir just to incorporate that. Now she's going to take her milk, and you can use any kind of milk, whole milk, 2% milk, um, oat milk, almond milk. Put it in here. Um, it doesn't really matter where you, where, which one you put the milk in. She's pouring it into the, pot, into the flour. That's the best part about this recipe. <laughs> you can mix it how you like it. The original recipe just says mix, <laughs> combine. So, and today we are going. We chose to bake in a bake in a Dutch oven over a fire. Um, we do have a bake oven, but today, due to temperature and rain, we felt this would be a quicker way to have our bread work for us. At home, you would use a oven with a 350 degree temperature. And you would bake it for 55 to 60 minutes. Now I need to add the butter and sugar. I've already buttered the dish we're going to use. You at home could use oil, butter, Crisco, or a baking spray. She's going to put in our, her butter sugar mixture. When it is finished, 
finished, it should be light brown on the top of the cake. And when you insert a toothpick in the center, it should come out clear, clean. No batter stuck to the toothpick. This is the part where you really have to put some elbow grease in it to really gotta mix it up. I'll move your dish over here. Might make the table start to wiggle. <laughs> I'm trying to get down to the bottom of the bowl and really get all the dry flour mixed in. makes a pretty stiff dough. It smells good. But this whole from beginning to end is probably half the time it would comparing to making a regular bread with yeast because you would have to allow the yeast to rise. You'd have to work your bread dough over to get more air pockets into it and then you'd have to have a second rising and then the baking of the bread. So this is a much quicker way to get some bread made for your family over the fire as opposed to the traditional bread baking methods. Just checking to see that I'm getting it all incorporated. I think it's, it's close. It's into a, a solid